Alrighty, welcome back. So Chase, it is interesting to see in that previous story where areas in the south are seeing that record rainfall and runoff, but just not just not around here. Right, so just always thankful that we're in such a quiet place as far as the Concho Valley. And now, of course, you're seeing a lot of flooding making its way across the west coast. And it's already starting off to the east. You can see some of those flash flood warnings already showing up on the eastern part of Louisiana, really making their way into Mississippi. And they're expected to see even more rainfall. Again, you heard several inches of, you know, about six months worth of rain in only a couple hours. And right now we're looking for some of that more rainfall to make its way into the Contra Valley. You can sort of see it making its way in from the southwest. That could warm us up, keep us in the 40s. But off to the west, that's the next storm we're watching for. And you can really see the clouds falling along that long wave pattern, really seeing it come down that trough, make its way back up. That's a subtropical jet. And you can continue to see this fire hose really making its way to the northeast. Again, we're looking at the upper level pattern, kind of seeing that reflection, that little bit of ridging. That's what's cooling us off today. But off to the west behind it, that trough, it's definitely going to deepen and that's going to warm us back up into the 60s, but we could see some calmer weather. I think some of this rain finally going to dry out before we see it push in by next week. Of course, we're watching that moisture really continue to push along the east coast, but you can see that frontal system kind of make its way through. That could dry everyone out just a little bit. Then the next thing on our mind is going to be some of those colder temperatures and watching a lot of this rainfall or at least snow melt across the entire region that could lead to a lot of flooding. Now we're talking about some of that fog that we saw this morning, really watching those clouds kind of raise up those ceilings as we continue to see those warmer temperatures push in, but we stayed in those 50s. Now you can see the opposing upper level winds and those lower level winds drive those clouds all over the place. And at some points, those clouds even holding still. Now that could produce a lot of rain and we're still seeing a little bit of it across the entire area, but we're looking at those temperatures right now, at least the change over the last 24 hours. We went from those 60s down into those upper 40s. So when we cooled off a little bit and then we came up about 10 degrees and we're we're already on that cool down, but we're looking for that fog to make its way back in. And it's looking pretty favorable. We've seen it all week. We could continue to see it for a couple more days. Now, 54 in San Angelo, everybody else joining us in a combination of 50s and 60s. And you can see that drastic temperature change across the entire region. Still seeing some of those drier pockets across the entire area. That gives you a good idea of the topography across the entire Concho Valley. I mean, especially when we're talking about some of those denser areas of fog. We look towards that moisture tracker, seeing those dew points really dry out to the west, still holding on to a lot of that humidity off to the east, but we're seeing more of it return from the the west. Of course, we're looking at the satellite right now, seeing where that moisture is going to make its return. We're going to watch those lower level clouds kind of make their way back in by tonight. Right now, the radar is showing you how a lot of it is really sticking towards the central, if not the eastern part of the entire Concho Valley, but we're still seeing pockets of moisture make its way in with a lot of those lower clouds. Now, the next 24 hours, we're going to see those clouds kind of return by tonight. Again, watching that fog push in for that Thursday morning commute, still a good opportunity for some rain shower activity. Then it's going to make its way out by Thursday afternoon. Then it comes back by about Thursday morning. Again, we're going to see it clear out again. Then by Friday, it comes back in the morning. So we're going to continue to see these on-off fog-like conditions with a lot of more of those overnight showers, but it's going to slowly taper off as we start to make our way towards the weekend. We see those clear weather conditions push in, and then we're going to watch a cold front kind of make its way through that could dry us up, but keep us in those 60s. So tonight, dropping back down to the 40s, we're there. We know that pattern could see a good opportunity for fog. Then tomorrow, overnight showers, a.m. rain, clouds breaking up by the afternoon. Then we're still watching for the fog to push in by that nighttime shower activity. That's going to be the case as we make our way towards the week. and can't believe it's already Wednesday as we continue to lock ourselves in the 60s with those lows hanging out down in those 40s. By the weekend, we can see those temperatures fall back into the average, but we're going to watch those clouds slowly push back in. Stay tuned. We'll have more after the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.